welcome to one of the most complex topics we're going to cover in this video series, taxes. We're going to try and explain everything in plain English, but there's no getting around the fact that taxes are a headache. And depending on what country you're in, the laws can be very different. With e-commerce, there's really only one kind of tax that gets charged, and that's sales tax. Sales tax rates are different in every country. For example, if we run our company from Florida, we need to collect 6% sales tax. In California, the sales tax is 8.25%. In the UK, the sales tax is 17.5%. And in Spain, it's 18%. And in Denmark, it's 25%, at least at the time of the recording of these videos. The name also changes from country to country. In many European countries, the sales tax is called VAT, or Value Added Tax. In Canada and Australia, it's called a GST, or Goods and Services Tax. In Japan, it's known as the Consumption Tax. Well, the name of the tax, the rate, and the surrounding rules will be different depending on where you are. But at the end of the day, we're all talking about the same thing. If you run an e-commerce store, you may well need to collect sales tax from your customers. And that's what this video is all about. Well, the big question then is, how do we go ahead and collect tax? When we installed WooCommerce at the beginning of the video series, we enabled Automated Taxes, which is a free service from WooCommerce. The service automatically sets up our tax collection for us, which can make life a whole lot simpler. However, before we get any further, you really need to take a look at the legal obligations for where you are in the world. Please don't use the examples or rates in this video as what you should do. You must check this out for yourself. We highly recommend getting a tax expert or an accountant to take a look at what you've done before your store goes live. This is particularly true if you have a business presence in multiple locations. When we set up automated taxes through WooCommerce services at the beginning, we really got ourselves well underway, at least in the United States, for getting this set up. However, one of the limitations is that it only does it for one location. So if you have multiple locations, you'll need to figure out your own tax rates. All right, head into your WooCommerce store, click on Settings and General, and just make sure that Enable Taxes and Tax Calculations is checked. If it is, you're good to go. If it isn't, put a check mark in there and click Save Changes. Once that's done, you should see a Tax tab here at the top, and this is going to allow us to set everything up. There are two terms here that we need to talk about. When you set up the pricing in your store, will you set up prices including the tax or excluding the tax? And down here at the bottom, again, you have the ability to display the prices in the shop including tax or excluding tax. If you're in Europe, well, you're probably going to do inclusive. If you're in the United States, people want to see the basic price without the taxes included. So you're probably going to say, no, I will enter prices exclusive of tax. That's completely up to you, but it's something you need to think about. The next option here is how are we going to calculate the tax? Is the tax based on the billing address, the shop base address, or the shipping address? And once again, that depends on where your store is in the world. So make sure you check that out. There are four shipping tax classes. Shipping tax class based on cart items, the standard, reduced rate, or zero rate. And if you hover over the question mark, optionally control which tax class shipping gets or leave it. So shipping is tax is based on the cart items themselves. Let's go ahead and change to tax class based on cart items. And we'll leave everything else the way we've got it. Go ahead and click Save Changes. Let's go ahead and set up our first set of standard rules. Go ahead and click on Standard Rates. So in the standard rates here, there's a few things we'll need to know. For instance, the country code. You'll need to set up tax rates for the country you're selling in where the tax laws apply. And so you'll need a two-digit country code. And for the United States, that's just US. You're able to look those up here at Wikipedia. And here they all are. So if you've got any questions, just head over there and they'll show up for you. Let's go ahead and insert a tax rate. So we'll insert row. We're going to say the US here. I'm going to use Indiana since that's where I am. We'll leave the postal code or the zip code blank and the city blank. And the sales tax rate here in Indiana is 7%. 
and I'm going to call this Indiana Tax. Priority is 1. We'll, we'll leave it as 1. This shows the order they render. Is it compound that any other taxes that might be added could be taxed as well? We'll leave that off. And we'll leave shipping enabled because shipping can be taxed. And so there you go. Once again, an example rate. Please don't take this as fact. You'll need to make sure you get your own tax rate set up appropriately. You'll also notice here that you can import a CSV file. Wow, is this going to save a lot of time? So if you have, say, an Excel spreadsheet that has all of your tax rates already set, you can actually just import this in one fell swoop. So let's take a look and see what that did. I'm going to click Save Changes and head back to my store. I'm still on my shopping cart, so I'm going to hit Refresh. And you'll see the tax rate has been calculated for me at $3.15 on a $45 order. And of course, that's the correct amount, 7% of $45. So we've just added one tax rate. You'll need to repeat this process for every place where you need to charge taxes. There's one area new store owners sometimes get stuck, and that's the priority of tax rates. So for instance, let's say you have to add municipality and county tax rates as well as state tax rates. If you give them the same priority, only one will match when you actually want both tax rates to apply and add together. If you want tax rates to apply and add together, you need to make sure they have different priorities. A simple trick for this is to set the country rates at the first priority or number one, state rates to two, county or zip code rates to three, and municipality rates to four. That way, all of the tax rates would overlap and apply as needed. You're getting an idea of how complex this can be and why you need to talk to a tax professional about your tax rates. If you are working with a tax professional, you can, of course, get an import file. And if they have that already set up for you, it makes life a whole lot easier. One helpful thing here is that you can export the CSV file and give that to your tax professional and let them fill in everything they need to fill in and, of course, give you the completed CSV file that you can then just re-import. Once you've done that, you'll have a complete set of imported rates. In the next video, we'll talk about additional tax classes that go beyond just the standard rates.